everyone, I'm Caitlin Reinders. I'm the Director of Youth and Congregational Life here at Grace. So as most of you have noticed by now, today is Palm Sunday. Uh, so that means it's our kickoff to Holy Week. Um, so for those of you, if you're not as familiar with Holy Week, uh, that means we'll have a few more things going on here at Grace as we get ready for Easter. Uh, so a lot of our friends in other Lutheran churches um, are also doing this. Um, one thing I've seen a lot is that we call Holy Week a journey of Holy Week, a journey to Easter. So with that in mind, I packed a bag full of things to get us ready for all the things that are coming up so we can get ready for Easter. So first things first. So like I said, as today is Palm Sunday, first thing I packed is the palm I made uh, for our Sunday school lesson on Friday. If you want more information on that, we have the video up on Facebook. Um, but basically the cool thing about doing it this way is I kind of felt more like the first Palm Sunday because what was really cool is that uh, people just grabbed whatever they could. The reason they used palms is just because the trees were nearby. Um, if you hear in the reading, people just put down their cloaks for Jesus. So. Um, being able to make palms out of what's just on hand just kind of felt more in the spirit of the first Palm Sunday. So that's for today. So next we have uh, Monday Thursday. Not Monday Thursday, Monday Thursday. Um, so basically one of the things we hear in that story is um, Jesus goes around and washes the feet of all his disciples. So and that was a really big deal because um, obviously even now today I'm sure most of us think touching other people's feet is pretty gross. Um, so Jesus was really doing something um, that a person in his position really shouldn't have done. But you know, it was, it was really nice to do it for his friends that were around. So we learn how important service is and loving our neighbors is to Jesus. Um, so for that day, I packed our... The service t-shirt we got for um, the youth gathering. So we all had to wear these uh, t-shirts when we went out for our service day in Houston. Um, this way everyone uh, knew who, what organization we were with, that we were part of the youth gathering and that we were there to help and that we were there um, to kind of love our host city in the best ways we could. So just remember that uh, Thursday is all about service and loving our neighbors and our friends. So the next up is Good Friday. So for Good Friday, I packed a box of Kleenex. Because for me, honestly, Good Friday kind of feels like a funeral for Jesus. And it kind of is. Because um, Good Friday is the day that we remember that Jesus actually did have to die. Um, and we already know the spoilers. We know that Jesus does come back in the end, uh, but that doesn't mean he still um, didn't have to go through some really not so great things. Um, so this is a day where we really get to feel sad and um, remember how, yeah, how he just wasn't treated well, that um, he had to suffer a lot, especially at the end. And that just isn't great for anyone, but especially Jesus. And so... Um, this is also a day where we can really be sad. I know, especially for me, because this is a day where I remember that um, Jesus did so much for us. And sometimes I don't necessarily do as much for Jesus as Jesus did for me. So, um, yeah, this whole week is a big roller coaster of emotions. And that's okay. Because you know what? That was part of Jesus being human, is that he also went through a whole roller coaster of emotions. And so we should get to feel that too. So that's for Friday. So then next we have Easter Vigil. So for that, I put in this uh, roasting stick. So it's especially good for campfires. And so I packed that because what we do on Easter Vigil is that uh, we tell all of our favorite Bible stories. And they're ones that are um, especially telling about how God comes in, helps all the people, or saves people. So it's a story of like... Um, Moses in the Red Sea or Jonah in the Whale, all these stories where God's people are in tricky situations, but uh, God helps them get out of it. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of very similar to just sitting around a campfire and telling all of our favorite stories. So um, 
hence the campfire roasting stick. So, and that leads us to um, the very end of Easter Vigil and even Easter morning where we get to celebrate Easter. And for that, I packed my party hat. Because you know what? By Sunday, it's time to celebrate. Uh, we get to celebrate that even though uh, Jesus had to die, Jesus in the end defeats death. And he defeated it for us because Jesus loves us so much. So I think that's reason to celebrate. And I can't wait to celebrate with you all next Sunday. See you then.